a pirate. So after the first skirmish raid in October and the first week of Forsaken Mission where new components have been released, I decided to update my Razor Tail build and share with you my plans for the full fleet with the flagship. Quick look at the Razor Tail, we saw how it performed. It does explosive damage, it can surface the submarines which worked very well against the Nighthawks in the raid. And stacking more ships makes the fleet stronger, so each ship adds 36% resistance to all ships in the fleet. And the flagship at 60%, so fleets with the flagship stands to reason will be stronger. They also accelerate by up to 40% as they keep moving. So it's very important not to hit the ice puddles, the, the cryofields in the target. The easy fleet, as I call, just for the auto build, if you're going to do through the app or if you're concerned about autoing the targets once they're on the map. Um, here we have all ships being equal, one or two gale, three per ship, so the picture shows two, but you can have one per ship if you want to have more firepower, it seems to work well, like five gales seem to do the job well, so you can downsize that to one gale per ship, unless you really don't want any of those cryo fields, because they do slow down, so if you, in case you do a lot of gales and no cryo fields, you can ditch the tactical insulator special you see here. If you go with less gales, like five or less, then you're probably going to need this guy. If you don't use the tactical insulator, then uh, on that slot here you can use something like explosive system 4 or combustion system 2 to give your ships more firepower. Bigger splash zone with no decay, so they do a lot more damage this way. Hydraulic or explosive resistors, if you're building them brand new, you can even consider uh, speed system 6, especially with the flag. Because I already have mine built, I'm not changing. I'm sticking to hydraulic or explosive resistors. I have a mix and I saw no difference between one or the other. Uh, wave diver I mentioned before, cluster warheads for the reload. The needler has a reload of 4 seconds, so it needs something to buff the reload. When you have 75% rank, it's cold, and this special, your rockets will be reloading every 0.3 seconds, uh, give or take. Without it, they're going to be reloading every one second, so it's three times slower, the reload. It doesn't change the salvos, but it changes the reload. Skirmish battery and Hyper 30. These two both will give you splash damage reduction. Hyper 30 will give you combat speed and projectile speed as well and evade and the skirmish battery gives you some extra damage so these two specials give you a lot of buffs if you don't have hyper 30 uh, you can either downgrade to hyper 20 or just for the resistance you can use ctx3 or you can decide to use ion thruster 4 because it gives evade less than the hyper 30 it gives you splash damage reduction less than the hyper 30 but more than the Hyper 10, that's why I'm saying use the Ion Thruster. And make your ships turn on a, on a dime, like real fast. Across the fleet on some ship, just put a one or two lockdowns and one recondite. It seemed to help, it's not a make or break, but especially when the subs surface, I, I noticed them becoming a lot slower when you had lockdowns on the fleet. Armor-wise, on top of the 2 D5 CTX, I'm choosing D5 EV, more speed and more evade. Okay, so that's the setup for the auto fleet, just build all five like that. Uh, the code to build this ship is in the video description. So you can just copy and paste on your shipyard to copy this ship. I say fleet of five, but if you have the flagship, you just build the flagship the same. There's no need to change, except you add the two special flagship rockets to the flagship. That's the only change from the regular Razor Tails, even on that setup. The skill build, um, you see a few differences here. So Wave Diver, Cluster Warheads, both still there. Hydraulic or Explosive or Speed 6, still there. Uh, if you've got some of those limited nail head rockets, put some in. The only difference, the main difference, they have flak evade. 
it was not needed in the first raid, but if that statistic is there, it's going to be needed at some time. So if you can have some of these nail head, use them, otherwise just fill up with needlers. Two lockdowns, six gales, and one recondite across the fleet. Just distribute them whatever you want. Like on the picture here, you can see a uh, lockdown on this ship. Skirmish battery, hyper 30, same thing. A lot of bonuses, a lot of good bonuses for your fleet. If you don't have them, Ion Thruster, uh, CTX3, or Hyper 20 in place of Hyper 30. Uh, skirmish battery is really important. Armor, D5 CTX, D5 EV. Whenever D6X comes out, I might replace the CTXs with one D6C, T, and one X. Gonna bring down repair time. Keep resistances pretty much the same. So that's it for the four ships that I'm gonna drive. You see, there's no tactical insulator and they run with a lot less gales because you're gonna be driving. The flagship to go with them, there are some differences here. So first of all, the flagship last raid was taking all the torpedo damage. So there was always more damage on ship slot number one, which is always gonna be the flagship now. So what you need there is a lot of evade to counter the torpedoes. So the more evade you can get, the better. Uh, we're gonna use the two flagship rockets. It's called Keen Edge. It's on a Forsaken mission this week. You can get two of them. And they're here in red, okay? Uh, two hydrofoil armor, and I'm using that. I'm giving up some resistance, but I'm gaining evade. So each one of these four armor pieces gives 12% evade. It adds up. Uh, I'm dropping the splash special to have evade upgrade. So again, more evade. And I'm dropping cluster warhead because the big uh, flagship rocket here has one second reload that doesn't need cluster warheads. The needlers still do, but I'm using that to put the ion thruster for again more evade, more splash damage reduction. So you see, I'm trying to bring this evade as high as possible to 82% to counter torpedo fire. This one bit is particularly untested, so is this going to be the best setup? I don't know but I hope it's gonna work. If not, you can just build like the others, cluster warheads and like combustion system or whatever, and roll like that. If you need to copy this ship, just pause the video right now and copy that on your shipyard. I'm not providing the code for that, but you can pause and copy the name of the specials all here. For this fleet that I'm planning on building for myself, this is how the resistances are gonna work on the regular Razor Tails. Uh, without a crew, they're going to get you 99.4 explosive and 99.5 concussive resistances. And of course, they will have like 48 splash damage reduction, 48%. The flagship will have 99.8 on both explosive and concussive, so it's higher than the regulars, and 82% evade and 52% splash damage reduction. So should work pretty well. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting an updated Bat Ray build video uh, soon. There's already one there, and I made a post of my new build on Forsaken Council page. Uh, get this code will be available on the video description. It's for the auto setup. And I hope you found this video useful. See you next time. Take care.